Ni hao, buddy. This is Lasteroid Daddy Hack the Fourth. He is 12 years old and is the greatest baseball player to ever live. <laughs> After being drafted out of the fifth grade, Lay Steroid immediately carried Mike Trout and some guy from Japan to a World Series ring and then signed a one-year, $1 billion deal with the worst team in baseball, where he went 162-0 and and won the ship again. Lasteroid then bought the A's and moved them to Shanghai, where he won his third World Series ring with the Swamp Donkeys. So, in order to make things fair for his fourth season... The MLB commissioner is forcing Lasteroid to play with a zero overall team. He figured the quickest way to do it was to just give him the Mets roster, because they are poverty, and then just lower everyone down to zero. The commish also threw in some bonus zero overall players, including Alex Manoa, Javi, Baez, Ellie de la Fraud, and Wander Franco. But for some reason, his overall can't go below 14. So after about 69 hours straight of lowering everyone in the Swamp Donkey organization's stats to zero, we were ready to hop into the first game of the zero overall Shanghai Swamp Donkeys season. If you watched the last video, you know that when I simulate the game, we actually can't get an out. The Marlins absolutely spank us on opening day, but La Steroid never backs down from a dogfight. Stepping into the box down 101 to zero in the fifth. Is this the tiger? He hits a huge swamp donkey to cut the lead to 98. In his next at bat, he hits another stadium shaker parking lot pummel, and then in the ninth inning hits this ball in the right center gap, decides to keep running because why not, and then gets tossed out at home. The swamp donkeys drop the opening day game to the Marlins 178 to five. This is gonna be way harder than I anticipated. In the next game, La Steroid put the Swamp Donkeys on his back, hitting one f after another. His final stat line was five for five, with five absolute piss missile Swamp Donkeys. But the Shanghai Swamp Donkeys fall short again, this time 21 to five. What else is La Steroid supposed to do? But as the people who watched the first video know, the stars aligned in game three of the season, as I strategized the perfect lineup for Ellie de la Fraud's MLB debut. This entire game was an absolute battle. La Steroid played to absolute perfection all nine innings as you can expect, hitting home runs in every at-bat and playing lockdown defense behind the plate. He must have given a fire pre-game speech too, cause his teammates were executing suicide squeezes and hitting clutch singles. La Steroid was literally unconscious every at-bay, hitting one clutch moonshot after another. Even after his poverty teammates committed a few costly errors and did everything in their power to sell the game, the Swamp Donkeys won their first game of the season. The Swamp Donkeys are in the win column, baby. This is huge because we get to upgrade every player up one overall for every win that we get to make this actually obtainable. In the next two games, La Steroid stays playing perfect baseball, but his two overall teammates continue to disappoint as they drop the next two games by ginormous margins. Sitting at a 1-5 record, La Steroid knew he had to step up even bigger for this team full of burger flippers, so he went ahead and took the mound and tossed a no-hitter. Got him swinging. Couldn't get a perfect game because his teammates kept making errors in the field. The only way he could get ours was by striking out batters or making the outs himself. La Heater broke the MLB record, striking out 23 bums. Swamp Donkeys win 8-1. In the next game, the Swamp Donkeys play at this poverty stadium in Shanghai, since their stadium was under construction, and La Steroid hits this inside the park home run and goes 4-4 four for four with four nukes. But the Marlins win 31-4. The next game was absolutely insane. Daddy Hack put on an absolute clinic and hit a walk-off home run in the Swamp Donkey now, Stadium home opener. Big Daddy Doble, the 0-1. Oh, and this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Their entirely female fan base stormed the field after the game, and everyone went out partying at the Swamp Donkey Bar in right field. So, the entire team was hung over and dropped the next game 156-3. to Oof. It's safe to say it's panic time in Shanghai as we simulate the next couple games and Swamp Donkeys are 3 and 28. It looks like we aren't even going to make the playoffs. Lost Steroid needs help badly.
So we hop into a divisional matchup against the Atlanta Braves, who are the best team in the league, and Lay Steroid starts us off with a ground roll double, and then, of course, scores from second base on a little dribbler. La Steroid is also pitching this game, so we were able to hold off the Braves' offense to two runs, and Daddy Hack was able to do his thing in the batter's box to secure a nice 4-2 win. And your final, 4-2. We upgraded our entire team to four overall since we just got our fourth win and head to Detroit to take on another poverty a franchise. Swing and a drive left field and he but somehow, it. Lost Aroid's home runs and cartwheels weren't enough as it we is. dropped the first game of the series, 27-5. to In the second game of the series, Lost Aroid, a.k.a. La Cannon, had a masterclass performance behind the plate, throwing out every base runner that dared to steal on the 12-year-old prodigy. Why do they even try? You must have never heard of La Steroid if you're trying to steal a base on him. Bunch of idiots on the Tigers, I guess. La Steroid throws out five batters in the first few innings of the game. This third base coach needs to be fired immediately. No way he's stealing right now. Yep, see ya, buddy. Out by a mile, not even close, I'm him. Then, La Steroid steals some bases of his own because he is trying to break every record this season, because why not? The Tigers keep walking him because they are scared, so Ronaldo he's going to keep McKinney. stealing bases. Swing and a miss. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. When they actually do pitch to him, the 12-year-old hits the ball into orbit. Hammers but his teammates are actually so bad, allowing forget. inside the park home runs on supposed to be singles, and the Shanghai Swamp Donkeys lose again to the Tigers 18 to 9. It's time for some big changes. For the first time since he was drafted out of fifth grade, Lost Steroid's abilities are being questioned, and no nobody, I mean absolutely nobody, has any faith in the Shanghai Swamp Donkeys. Lost Steroid goes 5-for-5 five five in the next game against the Tigers, including this insane inside-the-park home run, but the Shanghai Swamp Donkeys get swept yet again by the Guangdong Tigers. How are we so bad? So heading back to Shanghai, Lost Steroid takes the bump against the Rockies. He might as well be named Lay Heater Filthy Cheese, because he absolutely embarrassed the Rockies' offense all game long. And on top of the filth, Bro was smacking 450-foot piss missiles in the batting lineup. But MLB The Show only allows La Steroid to pitch one in every five games. And that clearly won't be enough to make the playoffs. He throws a no-hitter every time takes the mound, and sometimes that isn't even enough to win the game. So, after today's masterclass performance, La Steroid knows that it's on him as an owner to make some big-time moves for Shanghai. La Steroid embarrasses the Rockies some more and forces this weak flyout to secure the fifth win of the season. The Swamp Donkeys are now 5-52, and 52, at the bottom of the division by far, and La Steroid needs to make some important calls. Pause the video right now and comment who you think he is calling. If you guessed La Steroid, Daddy Hack, the first, second, and third, you are right. La Steroid called his family out of retirement to come back and play for the Swamp Donkeys. Imagine having to face this lineup. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It's a historical day in Shanghai for the La Steroid, Daddy Hack family to play together, and the entirely female crowd is electric. La Steroid Daddy Hack the first makes a nice play, and we are ready to get the bats ready. Look at the batters do up. Oh, baby, this pitcher has no idea what's in store for him today. He should have faked sick. La Steroid Daddy Hack, the OG steps in. He cranks the first one foul as a warning shot. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. The OG gets the Swamp Donkeys on the board early with a 499-foot tape majors, measure tomahawk. And they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his and life. And in steps the 7-foot La Steroid Daddy Hack the second. Bro is so lengthy. Here's a closer look at him. I am not sure how this man is related to the res MT of them, but he sure as heck is. He hits a nice little 510-foot oh, rocket pummel moonshot. Crushed. This one's on its way, and gone! 
He flexes his power with that swing, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. The pitcher is like, is it over? I want to face some zero overalls now. Yeah, no, buddy. Ever heard of Lost Day Roy Daddy Hack the Third? He hits that ball into the mountains. Bye bye, baseball. And then, you already know Lost Day Roy Daddy Hack the Fourth does his thing out there. Way back there, on its way. This offensive onslaught continued all game as the Daddy Hacks took turns pummeling the ball into the Shanghai stratosphere. This is must-watch baseball. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. It just doesn't have the same intensity. Oh, this is deep to left center, way back there, on its way. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. The Daddy Hack family make an immediate impact in Shanghai as they dismantle the Phillies 23 to 4. Then, La Steroid. Daddy Hack the first hits this walk off in the very next game. Back to work. Oh, this one's blasted. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. The Swamp Donkeys are heating up. To work. In the next game against the Blue Jays, that Daddy Hack the third Bates. hits for the cycle, so and the Swamp here. Donkeys launch a ninth-inning comeback. In a Swing and a ball hammered left field. Hits the fence. It was all topped off by a lengthy daddy hack, the second walk-off. Oh, this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. The Swamp Donkeys swept the Blue Jays in Shanghai, and now the entire team is nine overall. Lost Steroid pitches a gem in Atlanta and puts away Ozuna here. I'm, a, I'm Ozuna from the Braves. For yet another win. The Swamp Donkeys stay scorching hot, wiping the floor against their divisional rivals, the Braves, with this clutch piss missile, and then head to Philadelphia where they sweep the poverty Phillies. Back in Shanghai, the OG hits another walk-off against the Brewers. This one smashed down the right field line. Out of here! Ball game! Strike away. Swing and a miss! We are on fire! And then we take the momentum to Baltimore, where Daddy Hack the first hits this clutch home run to tie the game, and then you already know he hits the Lay Steroid Airlines celebration at home. We win a nail-biter here in Baltimore, 7-6. to six. The Swamp Donkeys are looking mad scary. La Steroid stays filthy on the bump, taking care of Ozuna. And the Braves once again. But every once in a while, we would lose some games because of some unfortunate happenings, like... Chavi Baez absolutely selling the game here in Minnesota, but you can never count this team out. Even down 14 to 2 in Shanghai, the game is never over. The Daddy Hack family had the day off, and the Swamp Donkeys fell behind big time. So coach called them into the game because they were at the bar in right field and had them all pinch hit. Lost Aeroid, the OG, hits this game, tying Smoke Bomb in the ninth. And then Lengthy McLengthy takes the top off the ball for another walk-off win in Shanghai. These fans are witnessing history. Oh, this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. This walk-off marked the end of the regular season, and the Swamp Donkeys barely squeezed into the playoffs. Can't believe anyone doubted the 12-year-old prodigy. Lost Aeroid ain't missing the playoffs. I know that I said that I'd upgrade every player one overall after every win, but I decided to just keep everyone at 69 overall for vibes. I accidentally simmed the first game of the series and the Giants dumpstered the Swamp Donkeys, so I had to absolutely lock in and get this big out here in the ninth inning, and then put some runs on the board in extra innings. Swings and crushes one right field, way back, and gone. Yeah, that's right. I own you. Why? Yeah. Look at this absolute moonshot from lengthy boy Daddy Hack. Right into McCovey Bay. To get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Oh, easy. Not even a second thought. Where he got a shot to play. And a 
swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. We get the big time stop and get the win in San Francisco. I went ahead and won the next two games with absolute ease. Pop up. McNeil drifts towards it. And that's it. They're moving on to the So for the sake of everyone's time, let's go ahead and move on to the next round against the team that finished with the best record in the MLB. The one seed in the National League, the Dodgers. Lock in. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Donkeys. Series tied one to one. The Dodgers have their ace. Clayton Kershaw on the bump for game three in Shanghai. Clayton opens the game by tossing the ball right at Lay Steroid, Daddy Hack the first. Kershaw is trying to send a message to the Swamp Donkey bench. But Lost Steroid, Daddy Hack the second, sends a message right back to his sorry self with a towering 489-foot piss missile pummel into the stratosphere. The Daddy Hack family and the Swamp Donkeys took care of business the rest of the game and absolutely embarrassed the Dodgers. Daddy Hack the fourth was seen leaving the stadium with Kershaw's girl, too which got him mentally prepared for game four. Lost steroid pitched lights out, embarrassing one Dodgers batter after another. Plus from the mound. Got him! Strike bye bye, Freddy. You're overrated, buddy. Just look at that picture-perfect windup. He should not be allowed to pitch. He ended up throwing a no-hitter, but giving up three runs because he kept beaming batters who looked at him funny. He forces this fly out to Ellie De La Fraud, who actually makes the catch because he's 69 overall now. Swamp Donkeys take a 3-1 to one series lead. We head right into Game 5, bottom of the ninth, tied at 3, two outs, runner on first, lost steroid, Daddy Hack the first up to bat. We'll see what else he can do now. Ball, this one high and deep. Way back there. Ball game. And they are moving on. A shot to left. And they are headed to the world. The Shanghai Swamp Donkeys are heading to the World Series. Bang, bang, bang. Wow. If you made it this far, drop a comment. I'm going to reply to as many as I humanly can. Because Lost Steroid has the best fan base on social media. I simulate to see who we play in the World Series. And no way. We are playing the Angels. Lost Steroid Daddy hacked the fourth's old team that he used to carry. We won game one, but hold on to your seat because game two was absolutely nuts. The Angels go ahead and put Shohei on the bump, so the Daddy Hack family decided to try a little bit harder. Five of those offerings? Look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to... Oh, now this one is blasted to right. You're fine. Absolutely overrated. Send him to the shower. He's trying. This place is absolutely loving it. His second home run of the Go series. It's one nothing. However long you think it took to make this video times that by 69, because this thing took way too long. It will take you half a second to hit that like button and subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see this beautiful specimen on the cover of the next MLB The Show. The road to one million continues. Let's ride. Daddy Hack the second gets gunned at the plate like an absolute idiot. So his family is going to beat the goofy out of him after the game. But Daddy Hack the third hits a nuke. And the Daddy Hack the fourth hits a dead center rocket. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's back. But the Daddy Hacks have been messing around on the base paths all game long. And it's tied in the ninth inning at five. Daddy Hack the OG hits a laser down the third baseline and turns on the Jets, but gets tossed out at third. And then the next batter, Daddy Hack the second, the seven-footer, hits one in the gap, but has never heard of anything but a home run, so just keeps running. He gets tossed out at the plate for the second time this game. Bro is so stupid. We are going to extra innings. The Angels put up a huge run and put the pressure on the Swamp Donkeys. Daddy Hack the third, who has played fundamental baseball all season, does his job and gets to third base. Finally, we didn't get laser. Daddy Hack the fourth steps in with a chance to win the game. Swung on, belted. That one is back. Out of here. Game. A two-run homer, and they walk it off in Game 2. The Swamp Donkeys win this one in dramatic fashion, and then take Game 3 as well. 
Let's hop into game four and see if they can finish the job. Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, the World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Donkeys and the Los Angeles Angels. Hi folks, John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set stage for game four, Chris. Well, the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know, you get to this point of the season, Boog, and you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground, but it's not played out that way at all. And I'm not sure who this burger flipper is, but he is going to retire after this game. And look who the Swamp Donkeys got warming up. La Steroid is looking to put the dagger in this poverty franchise. Nobody out. The Shanghai Swamp Donkeys decided that they were going to leave it all on the field tonight. All the anger from all the lobsided games they lost this season and all the pent-up aggression from having to play with zero overalls was going to come out tonight in Game 4. The Daddy Hacks start hot in the first inning, and we jump a little bit farther to the sixth inning, as La Steroid hits a big piss missile moonshot grand slam to take a commanding 112 to 3 lead. The Angels pitchers even started to throw at him for running up the score on them. But La Steroid kept thinking back to the first game of the year when they lost 178 to 5. What a full circle moment for the Swamp Donkeys, as nobody thought they could win a game after that first outing to now winning the World Series. Law Steroid, the player slash owner, and the Shanghai Swamp Donkeys are champions of the world. So, can Law Steroid carry a zero overall team to a World Series win? Of course, this 12-year-old can do anything. Comment something you think he can't do, and I'll prove you wrong. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.